Hello, welcome to Easy Dio, and today we are going to calculate the crystal grain size from XRD data. We will use origin for the calculation of uh, uh, full width half maxima, and we will use Microsoft Excel for uh, as a calculator for solving the shear equation. Uh, before jumping into the calculation, let me show you shear equation. Shear equation is d is equal to k lambda divided by beta cos theta, where d is the crystallized size, uh, which we will calculate. K here represents the shear factor. It is dimensionless, and its value actually depends on the shape of the crystallite. Uh, but if you don't know its value, then you can use 0.9 as a good approximate value. Where lambda is the X-ray wavelength and for X-rays its value is 1.5406 Armstrong. Beta here represents the full width at half maximum uh, after diffraction peak. And theta is the Bragg's angle. Now, uh, now let's begin. Here is the XRG data in that .asc format. You can view the data in Notepad, uh, Notepad++. Plus plus. Uh, let's visualize this data in text Notepad. Drag and drop it here. Uh, here you see the x-axis data and on the right hand side you see the counts of intensity. Now we are going to plot this data in origin. Uh, for plotting in origin, just open origin and drag and drop it here. You will open this window. Uh, now select this and click on plot. This is the XRD graph and on the X axis we have 2 theta. While on the Y axis or the vertical axis we have intensity or we can say counts. So on the y-axis we have intensity and on the x-axis we have 2 theta. For calculating the crystal grain size we need to calculate full width at half maximum. And for calculating the FWHM in origin click on analysis, click on peak and baselines and now here peak and open dialog. Now first we need to determine the peaks. Uh, there are multiple peaks in this chart but for calculating the crystallite size we will use uh, a single peak. Uh, if you want to take the average crystallite size then you need to calculate the, the full width and half maximum for all the peaks. But right now for simplification we will use just a single peak. Now click on next, now click on next, this is baseline and let's select the auto scale and here is find the peaks. So we have to find the peaks here, uh, the threshold height is 20% so let's click on find. Uh, it shows us 11 peaks, but here just for the demonstration we will use a single peak to increase the threshold to 60 okay. and now let's see how many peaks it is going to show us. Now it shows us only a single peak here at 29.32 or degree uh, to theta position. Now click on next and here you will see the option FWHM. Take this and click on finish. So here is the data for this peak and the full width and half maximum of this uh, the full width at half maximum for this peak is 0 0.18872. Now we will convert this to radians. 
Now let's calculate the crystal grain size. Copy this from here. Open Excel sheet and paste it here. This is the full width FWHM. Uh, now this we need to convert this into radians. And theta the theta, the, no, this is 2 theta, so the value here is uh, 29.32 represent the 2 theta. 2 theta is 29.32. First, we are going to convert this 2 theta into theta. And this will be equal to 29.32 divided by 2. This will give us just theta, which is 14.66. And now we are going to convert this of FWHM and theta values from degrees. Uh, the unit here is in degrees, so we need to use radians. FWHM in Type radians and now click on this. And now this is the value of FWHM in radians. Now we need to convert the value of theta, which is in degree here, to radians. This is theta in degrees. We need to convert this to radians. Click here, it's equal to uh, radians, like it, I like this, and enter. So this is the value of theta in radians. Now we are going to substitute these values in shear equation by calculating the crystal grain size. Uh, here is the shear equation. And we have calculated the full width at half maximum. We have the value for theta. And the value for k is 0 0.9. And lambda is also a constant. Its value is 1.5406 Einstein. Now let's substitute these values and solve it. D. The crystal grain size will be equal to. So the value for k here, the shear factor is 0 0.9. The value for lambda is 1.5406 Armstrong. So let's multiply the k lambda will be equal to. You know, k and lambda will be equal to multiply by five four which is the nominator value for the multiplication of k and lambda. Now we need to multiply the denominators which is beta and cos theta. Okay here we have converted this theta into radians but now we need the value of cos theta and write here cos theta should be equal to cos theta. So here the value for this cos theta is 0 0.967445. Now we need to multiply this, this uh, FWHM and cos theta. Multiply them.
And now we need to divide this k lambda by beta cos theta. So for doing this, we will get the value of d is equal to is divided by So we got a value of 435.129 nanometer. This represent the crystallite size. Now remember one thing, we have calculated the crystallite size just for this single peak which appear at 29.32. Uh, for calculation you need to have multiple peaks and you need to do this calculation for each peaks and then you can take the average size. So you will get a value for average crystallite size, for average crystallite grain size and this value here we got the result in Armstrong. You can convert Armstrong to nanometer. That's it. Thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe to GDU for more videos.